Um, so this one for the ladies or men, uh, whoever's buying purses out there, whether you're buying them for yourself or your significant other. Um, Kate Spade has been acquired officially as of today by Coach. So I say that Kate Spade acquired by Coach for $2.4 billion. Am I saying that correctly, Producer Billy? Okay, billion. I had to double check because I wrote billion. I'm going, uh, that sounds like a lot. But it's true. So let me give the backstory on Kate Spade here. Launched in 1993. So not as long as some of us thought hmm. yeah. <laughs> ago. We thought, oh, it's 93. Okay. Since then, Kate Spade, who is actually just a fun fact, the sister-in-law to actor David Spade, um, she sold it to Neiman Marcus in 99. Then in 90. Nine, they sold it to Liz Claiborne in 2007, and then now, 10 years later, it is being sold to Coach. So Kate Spade is doing its thing, having been around since 1993. A lot of people we were seeing on our Facebook page are saying, ah, but don't do anything to our Kate Spade because it is so quirky, it is so colorful as a brand. It's geared toward the younger demo, which is exactly the reason why Coach is going to pay $2.4 billion for mm -hmm. it because we know coaches. How did you categorize it, uh, Cornelia? You said you're just used to seeing just yeah. the, the typical leather bag, Yeah, when right? I think of Coach, I think of the leather uh, handbag back in the day, back in 99 when I was <laughs> Up on coach. Was this Dooney the coach, the coach? The coach. This was this was pre Dooney. So pre they had the coach D &D. belt, just leather with the tag hanging down. Oh, you had coach. the leather bag. They even had the coach shoes that came a little bit afterwards. <laughs> but I think of leather, pure soft leather, and nothing. A good to, bag. Yeah. But older fancy. demo. Low key, I probably still have my 1999 coach bag. And it's I, durable. It's, yeah. it's a good bag. It, it lasts. I will say, fast forward years. Um, Caesar, my husband Caesar, my, the first gift he ever got me for Valentine's Day in high school was a little coach coin purse that I could hang on my keychain. <laughs> and it was perfect. And I remember when I got it, I thought like, ooh, he has money. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yep. And this was in the, the early 2000s. So Coach right. is always, to me, held some clout. <laughs> it's just a little bit older. I mean, you bought Coach at, at Nordstrom. Now I'm seeing Kate Spade, though, at like Nordstrom Rack, even sometimes seeing Kate Spade, especially Dooney and Burke at like a Marshalls or a Ross. So, and you see Coach there, too. So my thing is, I know Coach is just trying to save itself, but they're purchasing Kate Spade. If you still like that Kate Spade look and you're afraid that it's going to be lost right. in the Coach world, uh, did you guys know that Francis Valentine, so it's a brand out there, it's in Nordstrom as well. I think it launched a couple of years ago. I want to say 2015-ish. Okay, so pr pretty recently. Pretty recently. Francis Valentine is Kate Spade, just with a different name. So you have Kate Spade, who went legally changed her name to Francis Valentine. And who knew that? And they were the, the, Francis is a, is a family name. Valentine is her grandfather's middle name because he was born on Valentine's Day. So she created a new name and then launched a new brand. And if you look at the site, I don't know if we have it up right now. I can't quite see the screen. Okay, it's up now. Francis Valentine has that same quirkiness. You can see the mm. color blocking in the purses, mm -hmm. uh, the different kind of um, the, the furry balls on some of the shoes. So that is being sold now. So I want to know what you guys think. So a couple people are asking questions about the product branding and what their current you know products are going to be labeled as. So okay. Kimberly Morgan said, oh, so my Kate Spade glasses, I can say are coach. So, oh. so, are, so are, are you happy to make that transition? Because is Coach considered more high-end than Kate Spade? I think it depends on, you know, what product you're getting. I yeah. think when it comes to the bags, I have seen Coach as more pricey than the Kate Spade designs, but I prefer Kate the Spade Kate Spade younger. design. I think that some of the, the cleaner lines and less of the C. I know you said you think of Coach and you think of the simple bag. Yeah. I think of Coach now and I think of the C's everywhere. I think of the stagecoach. Oh, look, right here. Irene, come on Irene. in. Okay, okay. Irene. So Irene Cruz, is this Coach or Kate Spade? This is Kate Spade. Yes. See, see, I love how mm -hmm. simple this is. This She's is mint green. green. Let me see. I think. Oh, right, see, right here, she you can right see this there. Kate Spade, yep. simple, uh -huh. classic. How do you feel that Coach Lines, has bought Kate lines. Spade? I am actually really disappointed. I love Kate Spade. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not a big fan of Coach. Did yeah. you know about Frances Valentine? I did not. Okay, mm. so if you go on Frances Valentine's site now, you can see that you're going to get that same, I can't say exact because yeah. it's not, but the same designers behind Kate Spade have just transitioned over to Frances Valentine. But I think if you look at, if we can please, Billy, producer Billy, um, put up the coach site you can already see on their front page that they're, they're making that transition you see the keychains it's like a little t-rex with furry hair they're going toward that younger demo mm -hmm. the quirkiness the themes you know if you think of kate spade and you go to like their sale rack they have the seasonal brands that come out right or the seasonal design so it'd be like a lemon lime
line and it's like the purse that's shaped like a lemon with the shoes that look like they have lemon little emblems on them it goes on and on and on but this is the coach site that you're looking at which i don't know you see the banana there yeah you see the, the little theme lemon. thank you irene oh, i did love her bag no, that's that a cute is bag. so cute but you know what if they were smart i don't i don't see this as a bad thing I per se bad, as no. long as they keep them separate if mm -hmm. just because they merge doesn't mean that they right. have to blend blend them together now if they do blend them together i don't see the point in that because people yeah. like Kate Spade and right. people like Coach. So right. to try to bring them together and force people to do both, that's just, I don't and like And I think, that. that's, I think that's where Coach can win in this and having the two different types of lines. Because for people for like me who yeah. have ever really only seen Coaches, the one with all the C's, now I'm going to say, oh, maybe they have a different type of line that I might be interested in. Whereas before, I have a bunch of coach bags and I loved that look at a time, but now I want more simplicity. So yeah. maybe I can go back to coach for that, knowing that the Kate Spade line has come over. Yeah, so. I think so. I think it'll be interesting because you know that Kate Spade was Kate Spade New York and Kate Spade & Co. So it'll be interesting to see legally what they do with mm. Kate Spade. I don't know if it'll be Kate Spade Coach & Co. Or like you said, if they're going to merge them all or keep them categorized as Kate Spade a little younger. Coach, Coach. Spade. <laughs> Coach Spade. No, I don't, I don't know. Coach I don't think Spade. they can try to make something completely new. I don't know. I and not. then what does that mean for the value of your Kate Spade yeah. that you have now? That's what they're saying. So can I call my glasses Coach? And is, is it now going to be vintage Kate Spade because yeah. it's pre-merger? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's going to be? Go get your Kate Spade now. Okay, you That's what yeah. I'd say. And it could be vintage. Ruby Ellison says, this had turned into my online morning show. Thanks, hey, Ruby. Ruby. Thank, Thank you. you. And then Kimberly that. also says, I don't see the merge as a bad thing. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Keep well, I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. and send curious. us photos in the comments. I want to see what kind of oh. Kate Spade and Coach products you guys have and what you're into, and, and then what phone cases and yeah. what little oh. book bags yeah. and what pencils. And what did you have from Caesar? I, my wedding shoes were Kate Spade. Oh, mm. there you go. Uh, but from Caesar, I have a Coach little coin pouch that coin would pouch. still hold up today. I could yeah. put that on. It's clean. It, it's it's timeless. I think Coach is pretty yeah. timeless. Yeah, I agree. What do you guys think? Keep talking to all of us. We could talk about purses all day long. <laughs> I know.